Hey guys, this is Tony again with SignMonkey.com. Today I wanted to do a little video about <clears throat> the different types of plastic that we use on for sign faces. So these are the rigid types of plastic. So we have three that I brought with me that kind of describe um, the, the gamut that, that are used. Um, first of all, we have Lexan. Lexan is, um, it's, it's, people call it bulletproof glass, whatever. It's, uh, it's extremely durable. It's, a, um, it's, a, it's not acrylic. It's actually a different polymer and it's, it's much tougher than acrylic. It can actually be, have holes poked in it and it can be folded in half without breaking. The next plastic we use is we use um, a modified acrylic. So this is acrylic, but it has, um, it has different components to it that, that make it uh, more flexible and much more break resistant. Uh, it's said to be 10, 10 to 100 times more break resistant than regular acrylic. The third material that I'm gonna talk about is standard acrylic. So this is cast acrylic. This is the, the least expensive of the three by far, but it's also the most fragile. Um, so the, uh, the, this material will, will break much easier. It will shatter and that sort of thing. It's also much cheaper. Uh, we don't use this material for anything anymore. Um, the only material we use now are the, uh, the modified acrylics, really, um, and, and then we use Lexan for some projects. The reason that there are three, and the reason that there is a use for all three, is first of all, Lexan has great properties in its durability as far as break resistance. It has some, some uh, weak parts, though, in the, the fact that it, is, um, it's, uh, it, it will yellow in the sun. Um, so it has a coating on one side, and if you notice, it says this side out on here. So <clears throat> my, my machine operator, who actually cut these pieces out for me, has the habit of putting that on there because if the material is put in the sun and you put the wrong side out, it will yellow. And you've probably seen signs that have yellow uh, or a brownish look to the front of them. That's because it's Lexan that is yellow. Always have to make sure and put the right side out. We actually buy this material in... Um, about 500 foot rolls that are 10 feet wide. So this material has, um, has much less size limitations and it can be used um, uh, with bigger sizes because it won't break. Um, the other material, the, the cast acrylic, usually comes in sheets. You can also get this in rolls. We actually purchase it in sheets. But um, it is, uh, uh, the, the, the big quality about this material is it won't yellow. It has some of the break resistant properties of the Lexan, but it doesn't yellow like Lexan. So this is actually our preferred material. Um, this is what we use for all of our channel letters. And then a lot of companies still use acrylic for channel letters. The problem is, is that um, we do a lot of shipping. Our, our, our particular products, we ship to our clients uh, throughout the nation. <clears throat> what we found was, is if we use a cheaper material like this, we actually, uh, the cost difference was made up in more shipping costs for shipping the client's new product because their, their product was damaged. So we don't use this material anymore. Um, I'm going to show you some testing. We're going we're gonna, to um, we're gonna do a few brake tests on this and, and actually show you the quality, um, the qualities that, that, that differentiate the, the, the three materials. Okay, so now let's do some testing on uh, some of the properties of the material. Well, first of all, the most important property, or at least one of the most important, is the uh, brake test. So We'll start with the Lexan. <clears throat> Again, it's marked with this side out right here, but that's actually on a liner. We, all the material comes with some sort of a liner or cover so that you don't scratch it up and stuff when you're working with it. But we'll peel that off. And then let's just put it in the vise and see how far it bends without breaking. So again, this is Lexan. It's supposed to be the most durable material of the three, and I, I'm sure it is. So we bend the Lexan. You can see I can actually fold the Lexan. Not really afraid of it hurting my hands because it's so tough. So let's even, we'll put it in the vise and actually bend it over the rest of the way. If I can get it to go. So I can fold the Lexan in half. So. So I don't think it's gonna get more durable than that, so. Obviously, the Lexan is, is somewhat unbreakable. <clears throat> hence the name, or hence the uh, title, I guess, uh, bulletproof glass. <clears throat> the next one we're going to do is the modified acrylic. Okay, so this is the one that I said is in between the Lexan and the acrylic on breaking, on, on breakability, and uh, on, or maybe durability. But so we call this a modified acrylic. Let's put it in the vise and see what happens.
I'm just going to bend it down and see what happens. As you can see, I can put a pretty good arc in it and actually almost fold it all the way. And it hasn't broken. <clears throat> so I can actually bend it too. And this is, this is acrylic, but it's a modified acrylic. I don't think I can bend it quite as much as the Lexan. I'd be surprised if I could, but I'll see if I can. I get a little nervous with this one because this one may cut me if it breaks. So, I've never done this before, but this is pretty interesting. I didn't realize this stuff was this good. Now, I would say once I squeeze it, I am going to break it at some point. But that's pretty amazing that I'm able to bend it this much. And now, this, like I say, this is what we use primarily for all of our channel letters and stuff because of the durability of when we ship it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm actually, there it finally broke. Right at the end, right before it was closed all the way up, it broke. You can see how much it bent. Um, that's fantastic. That was much more than I thought. Okay, now we're going to do the last one, which is uh, acrylic. Now, this one I don't expect very much from. We'll, we'll see here. I, I don't expect it to do that well uh, in the bending test. This one actually makes me a little bit nervous about cutting my hands. So I'm going to have to be a little careful with this one. This is uh, another term for this, or what a lot of people call this material is plexiglass. Now, you know, if you're going to use it for a window or something, of course, it would be clear. This is white because, uh, you know, for channel letters, it would be, it would be translucent. So... All right, so, oh, I didn't even get a bend. <laughs> that was, uh, that, was, that happened a little quicker than what I thought it was. So I didn't even get to bend this to 90 degrees and it broke. Okay, so I think it's pretty obvious the differences between the three. And uh, to be honest, I'm a little surprised and, uh, and uh, I learned a little bit here. I didn't realize that it was that different. I'm so glad we quit using this. Uh, very impressed with this, the modified acrylic. I think that it, it excelled. Uh, of course, Lexan, it's exactly what I expected. Um, and uh, so uh, you can really tell the difference between these three, three materials here. So, uh, Well, folks, I hope you learned something on this video. I certainly did. Had no idea just how different these materials are. If you like this video and you, and you want more inf information about signs or how signs are made or built or installed, come back and see us again on SignMonkey.com.